My name is Brian Skinner and I farm with my family here just east in Delaware County, Ohio. Uh, farm has been family owned since 1912. I'm Jackie Smith. I work with the Delaware County Extension Office and I work with 4-H and Ag and Natural Resources. We're here uh, doing a pre-emergence sulfur trial for soybeans. So our trial is a sulfur, so we went ahead and actually put that sulfur down before the plants were in the ground. We have two treatments. We have with sulfur applied and we have with sulfur not applied. We have looked at some other trials that have happened in surrounding counties in the past and have decided that pre-emergent sulfur may actually be better than a foliar feeding. Last year on this farm, we tried a foliar feeding of sulfur uh, and it did give us some, some yield boost. However, we thought this might be able to give us an even better yield boost. So we're looking at sulfur specifically because there is a lack of environmental sulfur uh, with us now. So uh, we've done a very good job. Multiple industries have cleaned up our air quality. Uh, however, this has decreased our amount of sulfur that we have in potential sources such as acid rain. So we are going to try and see if we can get the sulfur in the right place at the right time and the right amount and also hopefully help with the bottom line and produce more bushels of soybeans. So with the amazing weather that we've had, the crop has been under very little to no stress at all all season. So we might be able to actually see if the product truly will give us a yield boost or not. We still want it to make uh, dollars and cents for us. Obviously it has to pay its own way and we want to justify not just to do that, but we want to actually see a net return per acre. If we made a $5 per acre net return, that would probably anything that we do on the farm, that would be fairly substantial. If that ha would happen, we would probably look at implementing that every year on our farm. We're also wanting to do the right thing for the environment because we're all here together. It's important to us to leave it better than we found it. And I'm not alone. I know all of us farmers feel the same way. It's something that we feel like we're obligated to do. For this trial, we had two treatments. Our control that had no pre-emergence sulfur and a treatment with pre-emergence sulfur. The product Taurus was applied at a rate of one gallon per acre. Taurus is an 8% nitrogen and a 10% sulfur product. The treatment was replicated four times across the field. This year we saw great weather during the growing season. Weed and insect pressure was very low. In early August, during a scouting, we found one plant that had over 90 pods on it. Some disease pressure of sudden death syndrome was also seen during this August visit. The average for the control treatments of this trial were 61 0.98 bushels per acre. The average for the sulfur pre-emergence treatments were 62.77 bushels per acre. Given the variability in each of these treatments of this trial, these results are not statistically significant. When it really comes down to it, we need to know what truly matters, the dollars and cents. Taking a cash price of $11.91 from a local elevator on the day of harvest, and a cost of $20 per acre for the product, we can figure out the difference in return on investment. We can see that the pre-emergent sulfur treatment lasts $10.62 per acre when we compare it to the control treatment. We're fortunate we have a great extension office here local. They're one phone call away. Don't call too often, once or twice a year other than working on this, but when we do, I can literally say that they are out here within hours, if not minutes, a couple of times we need some help. It's a very fortunate thing to have in the ag community. We need all the support we can get because there's not a tremendous amount of farmers left, certainly in Delaware County. Delaware County being the fastest growing county in the state of Ohio, we have lots of folks that probably don't have a background in agriculture and then the next day, for instance, they might be our next door neighbors fortunate most of them are just very good to have as neighbors but it is another step versus just having a field on the other side they will ask questions we'd like to answer those questions there is a multitude of people so it makes it to get the work done and all a challenge but we still have to be conscious of the environment we do try and implement things even on our equipment that less dust controlled spray drift the best of our ability we try to utilize that if we can we learn a bunch from them too because i always figure the we're running these piece of equipments. For all I know, those people might be building that piece of equipment for us to run. I don't know. We all have different things that we do in our occupations. I just feel very fortunate that I am part of a multi-generational farm. I'm number five, and I don't know if we really have a structured way that we make decisions here. Usually they're in our shop or at the kitchen table. 
I guess it's more of a family decision to be honest because we are a family farm and just this past summer my nephew graduated high school and he is now a full-time employee with our farm so that's just great just gives you a feeling like there's going to be another generation and it appears that there will be uh, the best part is he I think greatly enjoys it what is what it's all about because of whatever the occupation is you've got to enjoy it want to learn more Visit the link on screen to get your copy of this year's eFields report.